Welcome to Science Tree Channel and today's topic is alkenes from class 10th chapter number 12 and it's all about hydrocarbons. We all know that when carbon is joined with other carbon atoms by means of a single bond, we termed it as alkenes. Let's become more familiar about alkenes. Now when carbon is joined with other carbon atoms by means of a single bond or with hydrogen atom, it means we are talking about alkenes. So all the bonds of the carbon atoms are single. That means valencies of the carbon atoms are saturated, already occupied. Here is the point to memorize. Alkanes are least reactive. Have you ever think about it that why? Yes, because alkanes have sigma bond in them. Like this is an example of methane having one carbon atom joined with four hydrogen atoms. They are linked by means of an S and S overlap, which is known as sigma bond. It is a strong bond and definitely due to its strong behavior, it is stable and it's difficult to break it. So that's why it is least reactive. They are also known as paraffins. Alkenes are called paraffins because para means less and affins means affinity or reactivity. Now as they are least reactive, so they are known as paraffins. Alkenes shows homologous series. Like here, I have one carbon atom, two carbon atom and three carbon atoms. And the whole chain is differ by CH2 group. The first member of the series is methane, having one carbon atom in it. For one carbon, we use the word meth, and in is representing that it is alkane having single bond in it. For the two carbon atoms, we use the word eth, and again it will be known as ethane. While for the three carbon atoms, we use the word prop and it will gonna be named as prop in. Now what are the sources of alkanes? The main source of alkanes are petroleum and natural gas. As we know that they are hydrocarbons and we get them from the earth. Methane forms 85% of the natural gas, which is also known as soy gas, which we use in our homes for cooking. Alkanes are also obtained from crude petroleum by the process of frictional distillation. Now the two points are very important here, which I want to tell you. Number one is, what is crude petroleum? Now when we used to extract petroleum from down the earth, it is not present in a pure form. Different type of products are mixed in it, like kerosene oil, diesel oil, compressed natural gas and many more others. So we used to separate them on the basis of their boiling points. And this separation is known as Fractional distillation. When we used to separate different products on the basis of their boiling points. So, large number of alkanes in different chains and different structures will gonna be available by crude petroleum. Alkanes are also present in marsh gas. The most of the part of the marsh gas is methane and it is formed by the bacterial decay of vegetable matter. 
Now, why it is termed as marsh gas? Because mostly it is present in wet, soft and marshy areas. Where bacteria decompose all the matter and releases methane gas. It's not that much toxic and dangerous, but when it converts into other compounds like hydrogen sulfide or any other uh, thing like that, it definitely gonna be cause pollution. We also get alkanes from fuel gases, but it's easy to burn small hydrocarbons than as compared to the longer chains. So that's why fuel gases obtained from coal gas contain alkanes in small amounts. Because alkanes have single bond in them and it's a strong bond so definitely it will be difficult to burn it. Mostly shorter chains are burnt easily than as compared to the longer chains. And for that purpose, we use the methane is also found in biogas. And what is biogas? A very important question. Biogas is the mixture of gases produced by the breakdown of organic matter in the absence of oxygen, primarily consisting of methane and carbon dioxide. It can be produced from raw material such as agriculture waste, plant material, sewage and green waste. Or in other words, methane occurs in sewage gas and biogas, which are formed by the decomposition of cattle dung, excreta and plant wastes. Let's study some famous methods to prepare alkanes. Are you familiar with this 2 carbon compound? This is ethene, having 2 carbon atoms in it with double bond. All the alkenes undergo addition reactions. Now we will replace one of the bond with hydrogen atoms by the process of hydrogenation. Hydrogenation means addition of molecular hydrogen because by adding hydrogen one bond will break down and the rest of the compound will change into alkanes our desired product why alkanes and alkynes undergoes addition reactions having double or triple bond in them they are unsaturated compounds, so they have capacity to add up atoms in them. That's why they undergo addition reactions. Now for the preparation of alkane, nickel is used as a catalyst at 250 to 300 Celsius. But this is the point to remember. In the presence of platinum and palladium, the reaction takes place at room temperature. Very famous reaction to convert vegetable oil into ghee at industrial level, known as sabatier sandrins reaction. You don't have to cram the reactants because we know we are doing hydrogenation which means to add hydrogen. Now definitely hydrogen will gonna add in alkene because alkene and alkynes undergoes addition reaction because they have double and triple bonding in them. Now this double bond, what it is representing? This bond is representing sigma bond and the upper bond is representing pi bond. And remember that pi bond is weaker than as compared to sigma bond. So that's why it will break in the presence of a catalyst which is platinum or platinum. 
when it breaks electrons will free each carbon will get it one electron now this electron will form a bond with hydrogen to give us alkene so alkenes and alkynes undergoes hydrogenation which means sabatier sandrin's reaction now the next reaction is reduction of alkyl halides so the name indicating that reduction means that the addition of hydrogen and to which we have to add the hydrogen to alkyl halide so the reactants will be alkyl halides and nascent hydrogens the reaction will take place in the presence of zinc and dilute it bond will break down in the alkyl halide methyl group will attached with one of the hydrogen to give us methane and the rest of the hydrogen will form bond with bromine to give us hbr so this reaction can be take place will with methyl bromide as well as with ethyl bromide thank you so much for more videos keep watching have a great day